Inducted into the hall this year in the bull riding category is Gary LaFew. There's a story about young Gary LaFew, somewhat known as a hippie, a daredevil motorcycle rider sometimes called a Hell's Angel, who showed up at a rodeo and on a dare tried to ride his first bull. He wasn't a total stranger to Western life. He did grow up on a ranch, but didn't take to a ranch life until he was around 19. That's when he did try riding that first bull. It became something Gary liked, and even though he was quickly bucked off, he became dedicated to riding bulls. He obtained his PRCA card, and by 1964, one year after that first ride, LeFew was rodeoing full-time. By 1967, LeFew had established himself as a pretty good solid bull rider. However, the fact is, he was certainly not the champion he wanted to be, and nobody was really looking for him to become the champion. Gary maintains that if he hadn't fallen into a terrible slump, become discouraged, been down in the dumps and fallen off a lot of bulls, he probably wouldn't have ever become a world's champion. As he became more and more concerned about his new responsibility shortly after his marriage and his future as a professional in rodeo, he was bucked off a good bull in Denver and found himself unable to shake the idea of the jinx he seemed to have. That's when a friend introduced Gary to psych cybernetics. After some study of this newfound information, Gary realized he had programmed himself for failure. You become what you think about, LeFew thought. If you can program yourself for failure, you can reprogram yourself to succeed. Armed with this new realization, Gary began a new program. He would take an hour or so each day and visually ride five or six bulls in his mind. LeFew says that the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between a vivid image and the real thing. So, after two months, he had in his mind ridden over a hundred of the rankest bulls. In 1968, Gary somewhat stunned many of his rodeo cohorts and was runner-up to the world champion. By 1970, things had really fallen together and Gary LeFew, the bull rider, who some questioned his unusual technique, was crowned the world champion. His record of going to the national finals seven times speaks for itself. His unusual method of programming himself to win the world championship in 1970, he still maintains today, as he teaches his students at the Gary LeFew Rodeo School. Obviously, Gary teaches his students technique, and a very good technique. The difference comes down to the fact that the world is full of good bull riders that can effectively teach technique, says LeFew. I help them with strength of mind and positive thinking. His positive thinking approach not only made LeFew one of the sport's great bull riders, but he parlayed that mindset into other aspects of his life. He shows up regularly in TV commercials and has appeared in various movies. From his beginning as a Hell's Angel, long-haired hippie who didn't know anything about the rodeo business, there's not anyone who worked harder to promote himself. The sport of rodeo, and especially the sport of bull riding, than Gary LeFew.